Time to talk finances with a local financial expert. The markets have been all over the place with uh, unemployment numbers, jobs report, CPI report, PPI report. Seth Kaplan with Baird Wealth Management joins us now here. Seth, I'd like to talk to you because you like to put this into perspective for us. We've heard a lot of different numbers, starting with the jobs report, I think, two Fridays ago. The stock market's been really volatile. Uh, today, it kind of bounced back with a good inflation report. So there's good thing, there's bad things. What's the big takeaway here? For the average person, really, we shouldn't pay too much attention to the day-to-day -day news. Mm -hmm. It's best to think long-term. Most of us have financial goals in life, right. preparing for retirement, saving money for kids' education. Best to focus on that. Okay, so when we hear these numbers, we think, okay, is this going in the right direction, the wrong direction? One of the indications I like to is listen to what the Federal Reserve Chair, Jeremy Powell, says about this. He's been saying for a long time, the numbers are going in the direction we want them. Doesn't get too specific, although he knows them. But I like to take a cue from him, and a lot of people were worried he held rates too long. They're supposed to lower them next, uh, uh, in September, I want to say next month. Um, what can we expect until then, and, and what's that going to do? The expectation is that interest rates should be lowered mm -hmm. next month and then maybe a couple more times before year end. At the same time, the Federal Reserve's mandate is to try to manage inflation and the employment markets. They want to be extra cautious to make sure that inflation truly is coming down right. before they start that process because they don't want to repeat what happened in the 70s where they then have to reverse course and raise it again. Back up again. Yeah. And, and, and the, the, the key data here um, with all of this is, is what the Fed has been looking at and for us to pay attention to is inflation is coming down. The, the, you know, the pre, pre, wholesale prices, consumer prices, they've been going in the right direction. Sure, we get a bounce here or there. You know, today's numbers were good. Inflation down best uh, in three years that we've had. But that doesn't mean we need to rest on our laurels. And it means just this is a volatile time of year. Yeah, historically speaking, August, oftentimes there will be periods of volatility. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes when that happens, it could stay volatile for a few months. To put it in perspective, though, if we look at over the past 50 years, we've had roughly 25 times where the financial markets have pulled back 10%. So it isn't abnormal. So what I we see. try and coach clients is it's to be Don't expected. Panic. Be prepared for it if you have a long time horizon. Good time to put money at work. And, and while it is a volatile time, we're also going into an election year. That could impact the markets too. The markets like stability, and this election could pose a lot of instability. Definitely could. At the end of the day, markets do dislike unknown. So anytime right. there's uh, uh, unknown, things can pick up from a volatility perspective. But as has happened before, typically as there's more clarity with things, right. the markets tend to look at the fundamentals. Especially before the election, it might be volatile. But after the election, things calm down. And by the first of the year, we're back to normal. And that's what the takeaway here is. Just don't look at your 401k right now. Look at it at the first of the year, right? Focus on what you can control, how you save, where you spend money beyond that live life. Right. <laughs> Don't pay too much attention to it. Seth Cabin with Baird Wealth Management, a local financial expert. Seth, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. All right.